We begin with breaking news at this hour from WSMB4 investigates an MTSU football player is facing disciplinary action. Right, and all of this is because he's accused of doing a dangerous burnout in a Murfreesboro neighborhood. Let's go to our chief investigative reporter, Jeremy Finley. Okay, so you actually broke the news to MTSU's football program about this. Their player was caught by police That's doing right, what they Lauren. say they did. We did. We at first MTSU's football program didn't know about this. Once we confirmed the details and shared it with them, they say wide receiver Alvin Tony will now face disciplinary action. It comes after neighbors reached out to WSNV4 investigates for help exposing the problem. They say that's putting their children in danger. A car burning out, doing donuts in a cul-de-sac, then speeding away. Cars destroying mailboxes, fences, even flipping over. People in the village of Garrison Cove in Murfreesboro say this driving is threatening their safety. I would describe it as uh, horrendous. Now, WSMB4 Investigates has confirmed. Four days after we exposed the problem, Murfreesboro police started doing surveillance here and caught MTSU Raider Alvin Tony doing the same type of burnout seen in this video. And they say he was driving on a suspended license. Yes, I was looking for Alvin. I reached Tony by phone this afternoon, and he says the driver of this car captured on video is not him. That wasn't me, that was, um, that was on the news and everything. It's not my car. But when I asked Tony about police saying they caught him doing the same type of burnout in the neighborhood. Police say that they were doing surveillance and that they captured you doing it as well. He hung up. In a statement to WSNV4 Investigates, head coach Rick Stockstill apologized to the neighborhood, writing that they'll remind players that children and pets are highly active in these areas. This is an unfortunate situation, and I will handle disciplinary action internally with AJ. MTSU's football program would not say what kind of disciplinary action Tony will face. He is not a starter, so it's unclear if he'll play this Saturday. He was cited for careless driving and for driving on a suspended license for failure to appear in Alabama, where he's from. Lauren. Okay, Jeremy, thanks for the follow-up here. Now, if there's something in your neighborhood you need help with, you can let us know. You find all the ways to reach our investigative team on our app. Just go to the investigations tab, scroll down till you find our contact information.